Funk Revolution, now it is the long-awaited moment we've all been waiting for. I have returned from my COVID-19 illness. I was sick with COVID-19. It stunk. I was out for a whole freaking week and a half, not being able to review anything while all those amazing albums were coming out. And everyone's like, Punk Revolution now, review Crest by Blade and Echo 2K. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it. And I'm feeling better finally today. I still have a little bit of a COVID-19 cough. But you're not going to hear that in the video because I can restrain, hold the pain back, which is, I do a lot of that. I restrain a lot of pain for you all. It's April Fool's Day. We do not do that at the Punk Revolution. I am not April Fooling you with this review. I hate April Fools. It's a day where the government gives people permission to troll me, and the br all my favorite brands are posting videos about all their favorite products, and I get excited, and I like the video, and then it's like, ah, it's a prank, and it's just like, I hate today. I hate April Fools. So this is not a prank review. I am really reviewing Crest. Ooh, that kind of hurt my throat, all the yelling. COVID-19. Anthony Fantano gave me COVID-19 from bullying me. Ah. Well, let's just get the review started, shall we? Let's start by taking a look at the album cover. This is such a freaking Drain Gang album artwork. I mean, it's it's, just, it's adorable with the, the Crayola crayons they're using to draw this this cute little house. It's just so cute and so innocent. But something about the like the 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 e like the edges of the circle. It's kind of like these sharp lines that are drawn are kind of like in a weird way, a little like edgy and kind of like badass in a sexy way. Kind of blended in this cute, you know, mostly it's like a you know gentle, pretty colors. Crayola crayon. It's a crayon. What is this? It's just a cute Crayola crayon, and then it's like Drain Gang. You're so cool. Drain Gang is so cool. Their style is so cool. The way they dress is cool. Blade, Young Lean, the whole crew. But today we're talking about Blade and Echo 2K, which is like, how do I put this? Blade and Echo 2K is kind of like if Jesus and God came and hung out with you. I mean, Echo 2K is just so smexy, smexy, smexy. I would actually describe this album, Crest, if I had to describe this album, as a sandwich. It's a sandwich in multiple ways, because on one hand, you have the sandwich of Blade and Echo 2K just sandwiching you. You have, you know, smexy little Blade, of course, as always, with his, his gentle kind of whispery vocals, and it's so, like, what does he say? It's kind of abstract lyrics, but he's kind of, it's very emotional and loving and kind of emotionally vulnerable, but in a way that makes you feel safe. You know how someone opens up to you emotionally, like, get emotionally vulnerable with you, you feel safe with them because they can open up to you, you can, you can open up to them. That's how, that's how Blade makes me feel. Blade makes me feel comfortable. So you got Blade, and then on the other side of the sandwich, you got Echo 2K. And Echo 2K is just so fucking mmm. Every time his voice comes through, it's like, yes, there's Echo 2K. I was, so, I've been waiting for him. He says every time he comes through on the microphone, it's like a big exciting moment. I want to compare Echo 2K honestly to Michael Jackson, not just because they're both pop stars who are kind of like effeminate, sort of androgynous black men that are that are kind of mysterious and sexy, but that does both, you know. Describe both of them, I think, pretty well. But also because, you know, if, if Michael Jackson walks into the room with you, you're gonna go, oh, Holy crap, it's Michael Jackson! Holy shiz! Even though he's dead, but like, if he was, I mean, that would actually, that would actually, yes, that would be even more freaky. Echo 2K, when he comes into the room or he comes into the song, it's like, ah, Yay! Echo 2K is here! It's, that's what, it's just like, he's like, literally like, so, he's just like, he's got this like, na, 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 like, you know, yes, 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 yes. It's like so, mm, mm, mm. it's so cool. It's like, this album is so charming and playful and innocent and kind of childish with all these like blingy blongy synths that sound kind of out of maybe a video game or, you know, TV show. It sounds very childish, like a child, a little toddler having an innocent dream about running through the forest with Mickey Mouse or something. But then you have like undeniably Blade and Echo 2K are kind of sexy. Like they just, they're just kind of, like they're not singing in lyrics that are like, like that are bluntly, you know, like let's talk about our dicks or anything like that. No, the lyrics here are actually, they get pretty kind of like spiritual religious. Like they're very, like there's nothing here that's like overtly sexual at all. It's just like literally you just got these guys who are just, I, it's, 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 a, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. You feel, it makes, this album makes me feel like I can just be myself 
which is kind of a weird way for an album to make you feel, but I'm not kidding, this is like legitimately one of the best dream pop albums I've ever heard. Whatever, cloud rap, whatever genre you want to call it. It reminds me a bit of like when I first heard like Grimes back in 2012, like this kind of weird synth pop that's really kind of abstract and sounds like it's from another universe, like an alien is making this, you know, very like gentle. You know how Grimes has that kind of weird little lisp or whatever, we love her for that, but she does have that kind of weird thing and it sounds like weird kind of gentle, beautiful, playful alien music. Well, this kind of sounds like gentle, beautiful alien music with Blade and Eco 2K sandwiching you, which is a great feeling. And it's not just a sandwich because of Blade and Echo 2K sandwiching you. It's also a sandwich because you literally look at this track list and you've got like delicious, yummy, amazing songs on the top and delicious, amazing, yummy songs on the bottom and then a lot of yummy meat in the middle. The opening tracks we've got here, the flag is raised, holy shiz, that song is on, replay. And then we have a song that's over eight minutes long, Five Star Crest, which is just like, what the heck? The way that song is just like, that song takes you on a whole journey, the way that song evolves and there's all these amazing synths and bleeps and bloops like coming at you from all different directions. That song is like literally one of the best freaking songs ever. It's like, what the hell? It's a freaking feast. It's a drain gang feast of just delicious synthy, what the flippy dinga dinga do. The production is just amazing. And then at the freaking, at the bottom of the sandwich, we have Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. That song rocks the way that boom, 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 boom. That like kind of percussion, maybe some compression on that kick drum that just like kind of like hits the whole song kind of beeping. And then you got the ma, 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 na, na. It's like so, it's like what the heck? It's, so, it's like such a, it's just like a, it's like a nice little baby angel singing to you and kissing you on the cheek. That's the sandwich. And then in the middle, it's not just, it's not front loaded and then, and then and back loaded and then in the middle it's weak. No, in the middle you got a lot of Faust, Freaking epic song, yeah. I love the song, yes, is that's like one of my favorite songs. Yes, 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 literal crest. It's like, oh my god, what does it mean? I don't know, but I want to give Echo 2K a hug. So, I guess I'm drained. I just went on a rant, like a pretty hardcore rant about how much I like this. Wow, I'm drained. I think this is I think this is the best thing I've heard from Drain Gang though. Like I've listened to a lot of Drain Gang. A lot of it I've been pretty, you know, I like a lot. I think it's a cool vibe. Some of it I'm not so impressed by. This one I think is just, you know, it was a 30 minute album that's just kind of nonstop from start to finish, like amazing orgasmic. So I mean, this is pretty phenomenal. I'm giving this a 9.3 out of 10. I am not doing an April Fool's joke. Like I said, I hate April Fool's. It's the day where the government gives you permission to hurt me. What the heck kind of day is that? So I hate April Fools, and it's not an April Fools prank prank. I've been listening to this a lot while I've been sick with COVID-19. I've been I've, I've had I've been in COVID I've been in bed all day with COVID-19 in pain, and then I have Blade and Echo 2K whispering in my ears how it's gonna be all okay. Of course I'm gonna really like this album. I'm with her. Or but her emails. Same difference. Anyways, thank you for watching. This is not an April Fools. I finally reviewed this. I got a lot of stuff to review. My backlog of stuff I want to review has gotten crazy because I got sick at the same time as a million albums coming out. It's like, but that's basically the April Fool's joke is I get better and then I go on the internet and then everyone's attacking me because it's April Fool's as if it's literally the troll heyday. <sighs> All right, I'm getting off. I'm going to, I got to start, I got to start pumping out some reviews. My schedule of Monday through Friday is a little messed up, but we're going to do it. Please like, comment, subscribe. That helps my channel a lot. We gotta get my channel back in the algorithm because I got screwed up from being sick. We gotta, we gotta get those numbers pumping again, or else YouTube's gonna get mad at me. So, uh, you know, we're all, we're all pawns in the system of the algorithm. But um, thank you for all your help with the channel growth, and um, thank you for watching Book Revolution. Now.